Easy challenge. Let's do new run. Start a new challenge. 15 minute city. Easy straights and ride the bus, but we can't get rid of them. Shortcut and ride the bus. Okay. Check the deck. There's no ace two three. There's no ace two three. Is that correct? And it's double face cards. Oh, brother. <laughs> okay. In this case, I I'm using my intelligence to surmise what I should do. What I think I should do is early game. I think I have no choice but to not skip and thus build this mult as high as possible. And we will pray that good jokers come up. It's actually so doable. We'll pray good jokers come up without rerolls. I'll play 555 on you. I'll dump a 555 on your head. You could ignore bus. At my own peril, I would say. I mean, it's a, it's eternal. You got to do something with it. This is easily one of the worst hands you could possibly fathom in this situation. <laughs> no! Okay. Um, if I play Jack of Clubs, does it fuck ride the bus even though it's debuffed? It doesn't, right? Because it doesn't count as a Jack. Huge. <laughs> it's that simple, bro. Draw a straight. Had to be done, bro. Had to be done. There was there was no other outcome. I'm alive. Sucks to have bus go back down to one, though. Um, sure. Ancient Joker could get us out of a pinch, and then maybe Arcana Pack will just save us. I don't even know what. I guess removing face cards goes kind of crazy. We got a long way to go, though. Okay, try to play some diamonds. Beautiful. Maybe we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Maybe we just play face cards, bro. I mean, I guess if we don't have to, it would be nice, but... That's a straight flush! This is a tough one. This is a, it's a spicy one, no doubt about that. Clubs also give eight mults. I don't think we can afford to say no to that right now. Hmm. Diamonds. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm talking about? Islands heads. I would hold this. Fuck you. It's actually kind of sick though. Make sure club goes first and then throw this dookie alongside it. As ass. What do you mean this is good? <laughs> That's pretty good though. You ever done any seated runs? Best thing I could say about Balatro, well, it's not the best thing, it's just another complimentary thing that I could say about Balatro. I am very anti seated run Andes. Because for me, it's like when people say, like, just wait till you get to this part of the movie. <laughs> and then, like, the whole, you're like, I have media literacy, motherfucker. Now I know that at that part of the movie, like, some shit's going to go down. Game of Thrones, Andy's, always be like, wait till you get to season four, episode six. Uh, 
I'm like pre-spoiled. I'm spoiled on there being a spoiler. That being said, Balatro is such a good game that I, I could see myself possibly doing seated runs. I could see myself getting over my preconceived notions and biases and doing a seated run at some point. Well, we probably won't take Peridola. I think we're straight chilling for now, bro. We like hearts, we like clubs. So what we get sober? So what we smoke nothing? Know what I'm saying? Four, five, six, seven, nine. I think we dump that. Hold this. Okay, two pair, but but what a pair. Maybe phrasing on that one. I'm even putting my shit in the right order. Do you see how, how Balatro pilled I am? Ryan, what do I stream today? Can I first say, Chibli, thank you so much for the um, putting your faith in me. I do have to say, though, I'm not sure I got an answer for you. But not because, like, I don't have a good answer, but because I think that you, if you think about it, you will come up with a good answer. I have faith in you to come up with the best answer for Chibli. As long as it's not Stardew. I see a lot of people saying Stardew. <laughs> Strength can turn kings into aces, at least. Just please not Stardew. <laughs> I'm begging you. Hang on, I got an ad. I'll continue the conversation in 38 seconds. Okay, everyone, hold. Hold emotes in chat, please. We will wait for you, Chibli. Check this shit out. Club flush, bitch. You have no twos and threes? Yeah, but at least I could play like, you know, a pair of aces or something, you know? Thank you, Sato Mori, for giving Chibli a gifted subscription. Thank you. <laughs> One more month of ad free. Why do you dislike Stardew so much? I'm not being an extreme hater, okay? I just find it boring to watch. That's it. I, it's no, no disrespect to the friends of mine who play it. I think they're great. I just don't like watching it. I'm expressing an opinion. I'm not being a hater. I didn't say fuck everybody who's ever played Stardew Valley. I mean, that's like, that that would be insane. Hold this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, bro. With the, with the spade at the back, it's perfect. Eight malts. Mouth's carrying, man. Like, I, the, the best thing I could say, or the, the most honest thing I could say, is that the way that many people feel about a difficult game of climbing, that's how I feel about Stardew Valley. Like, I just, my brain is incapable of deriving pleasure from watching it. Clubs. Clubs. They love it. Straights can skip one. You're absolutely right. Now I will play nothing but straights forever. <laughs> Big hands, I know you're the one. What next? Anti-4? I think we're still chilling. Extra large blind. It does scare me. I'm not going to sit here and say it doesn't scare me, because it does. We could use some mouth resonance on that. Mouth resonance, of course, is 
ancient joker asking for clubs. Because then we get the 8 Molt and the 1.5X on it. Econ's looking good. We haven't really committed to a hand, so I don't think we're, I don't think we're supernova pilled. Does he hate accumulating interest? Honestly, like, have you ever heard of, like, investing? Whenever I talked about investing, people would go, oh my god, shut the fuck up. Whenever I play a video game with money in it, people are like, this guy doesn't know about the power of compound interest. Of course I know about the power of compound interest, bro. S&P 500 is sitting at like 52.15 today. Shit's at all-time highs. Sometimes in the video game, I like to play around. Did you not see the discourse on Twitter about have gamers lost sight of the fact that games are a, a, a space that you can play in and not simply like a to-do list of things to progress through? This shit got me thinking, man. I was like, I think that's true. Every, I, I find myself increasingly as the years go by, if I make a decision that's fun instead of a decision that's optimal, I have to justify myself to people who have been brain jacked by Activision Blizzard. It's insane, man. You know, this is the playground. This is the schoolyard. This is recess. We're playing freeze tag. It's rock, paper, scissors. Sometimes you throw dynamite. Dynamite's not in the rule book. We're improv in here. We're improv -ing. You got a yes and me, bro. Not just tell me you can't throw dynamite. Oh, well, you sound real mad just because dynamite kicks the shit out of paper. Would love, would love driver's license. I, I think we have to, we have to take a shot at it. My two cents, we have to take a shot at it. And Malf loves spades. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Two spades at the back. This is a very risky play, don't get me wrong. But if we can get driver's license to work, it might just win the entire ante for us. Holy fuck, that sucks ass. <laughs> That's helpful, though. That's insanely helpful, bro. Hold. That wasn't even that good! <laughs> One, four, two sixes, two sevens. But our four is fucking slick with it. All right. 10, 10, 10. This hand is going to be ass. Throw the king alongside. Four, five, six, seven, eight with the six at the back. Motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't even move the spades, but it's not gonna matter. That one, that one sucked. Wait, whoa, whoa, challenge me, challenge me. Start me off on a new challenge here. Start me off on a new challenge. 15 minutes city. That's a run ender. I think you just, just a good blind, honestly, or like, I guess a bad blind for us. I still embrace the power of building malts. I'm gonna try to commit to ride the bus. It's an enormous debuff, don't get me wrong. You know what we can do? We can say sucks to your Asmar. We could say, guess what, bitch, high card. We could say, guess what, high card. Now, things might get a little spicy. I'm just gonna throw a little pear in there to make sure we're not super dead. Then we throw three of a kind at you. <laughs> does this deck have more face cards? It does indeed. It has double the face cards. My interest though. Are we gonna do this again? Is this is this how you saw this shit going down? So what we high card? So what we smoke nothing? I'm just a little scared we won't get the 450, so I'm I'm sending it. Didn't have to be scared, that's all right. We chill on that. Plus one hand size. It's a little weak, but I'll chill with it for now. 
I'm a simple man, watch this. 4-4 four, four lets you discard King Jack. You get to remove some Dookie from your hands. I mean, we could just discard, but... 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, even better. Pair of nines. With a 10 kicker, dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. Play a 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, bitch. We should, in my personal opinion, we should fish for a rare joker. I cannot be tempted. I'm Lizan Al Gaib. This isn't going to win in one hand. Give me four, five, seven, eight, nine. So we got some space. If we see the opportunity to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> if we see the opportunity to skip for a rare joker, we take it. Because something that molts our molt would go insane right now. I'll go Mega Arcana. I'll, like... I'll Empress out of my gourd right now. And then Fool card to get another Empress in my hand. Why are we spice posting? Because it's Dune's world, brother, and we're just living in it. Would you guys rather live on Earth or Arrakis? What do you think? Earth did great, but I got to give it to my planet Arrakis. Because it did... Oh, I screwed it up. <laughs> How about pair of sixes dumping a king and a queen? How about ace that lets you dump a queen? The man's a damn genius. How about discarding your queens? How about 10, 9, 8, 7? Just to let them know you're fucking with them. And then we hit you with one of these. The kill shot. I mean, this, this side is at plus 16 molt. It's, it's a spicy play, but I definitely think it's the right play. I mean, this is a damn gimme. It's one of the most gimme gimmies I've ever seen, unless it copies shortcut, in which case I will be alt F4ing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, beautiful. It's a beautiful thing when it all works out together. How about, how about we start small? Four, five, six. Four, five. Ace, king, jack. Now I'm getting a little scared, even though I probably shouldn't be. So we hit you with the straight. Imagine double shortcut worked. So true. Fucking hit him with an ace, four, seven, ten, king straight. That would be fucking crazy, bro. I can't believe how long it took me to, like, do the math on it. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I'm a big Cardamancer guy, though. I'll be honest with you. I'm a big Cardamancer guy. Love it. This is def is guaranteed to work. It's guaranteed to work. Imagine double smeared Joker made everything wild. My fucking ass when it all gets debuffed simultaneously on every single boss blind. <clears throat> Easiest dump in my life. I'll tell you what. Three eights. Oh, it's a full house with music. No! So what did I think was going to happen there? Well, I don't want to tell you because you're going to be like, that's stupid. It's not how it works. And I know that now. Playing a pair <clears throat> allows you to then dump a face card as a high card and it won't count as a score. It turns out playing three of a kind doesn't let you dump a pair of face cards. 
using the same logic. <laughs> In this business, we hold. There's no shot, man. Ten Jack Queen King. Oh, there's no. It's it's over. The dream is dead. What are we at? Two oh one. I got one more attempt in me because we started a little late today. Run it back. Because now we know what we're doing too. You're dumping dog shit. You're playing at your residence to build up, ride the bus as much as possible. So you, we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We play a ten. We definitely don't play any of that shit. We'll play some of this shit right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That last run definitely could have won too. That's the worst part. Maybe it's lame, but I just ignored bus for this one. One thing you need to know about me, I'm a different kind of beast. I feel like, well, I don't, I don't feel like you've done anything wrong, by the way. I feel like we actually have a great possible run I, th I think the secret is the power of, of telescope. We play so many high cards to build up Ride the Bus. You buy telescope and then start buying celestial packs and just pumping high card as high as it can go. These don't count. I love that for us. It's so over. It's anti one, bro. This shit is, it ain't even started yet. They got you saying it's so over. It's an embarrassment. Don't screw this one up. <laughs> Four, five, six, eight, nine will work. You need obelisk in this? Stop telling me, you gotta tell the shop, bro. You gotta tell the shop. We go spectral. Any day of the week we go spectral. Aura. I don't really want three enhanced face cards. I would I would happily accept a, a foil five, even though it's the lowest possible roll. We go again. Telescope, I'm telling you, you may not believe me, that's your prerogative. Telescope's gonna be huge for us, bro. Plus, I don't know about you, there's like, a, the, the least satisfying deck to play, flushes. Second least satisfying deck to play, full house. Satisfying decks to play, high card, five of a kind, flush house, four of a kind, pair, straight. If you can play weird hands that are normally hard to get and make it work, it's just fun. You feel like a boss when you do it. You're bossing up. It's boss o'clock. I think I gotta play. Can I play something even dookier? Nope. <laughs> You like corn dogs? Assuming you're not about to ligma me? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I go insane for them, but I'm, I would say that I enjoy, I enjoy eating them. Corn dog on my balls? <laughs> Listen, I told you that in confidence. I will say though, it's not gonna get me any fans. One of the most overrated foods currently out there in the marketplace of ideas, Korean corn dogs. 
they're not bad. At the end of the day, it's, you know, a pork cylinder wrapped in french fries with like big fluffy breadcrumbs on it. But the, the way that people talk about it as if like it's the, the grandest, I guess I wouldn't be able to afford this if I didn't do this first. The grandest food you'll ever see. Plus like a corn dog should be $3.50. And Korean corn dogs in Canada, they're like, from a food truck, nine, 10 bucks. I just, just give me a pogo, brother. Just give me a hot dog that's breaded. I don't need all the fucking, the okonomiyaki sauce and then the gochujang on top of it. YouTube's obsessed with Korean street food. I know, and I always feel like a, like a bad guy. But like I lived in Korea and I ate the street food now and then. And I'm like, it's good, but it's not like the best food on planet earth. You gotta acknowledge that most of it is cooked in a fucking street level deep fryer attached to wheels. Like they got a lot of limitations to, <laughs> to the, the business that they're running. They're doing what they can and, and a lot of it turns out, but... And it's the best food ever. Isn't, if you believe that, then that's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that I... If, listen, if you're coming out of Samduk Sobang So, 2 a.m., you just left Who's Bob, you're fucking hammered, sure, get like a little pizza inside of a cup. Get a Korean corn dog. Get a fucking Pikachu-shaped, like, cutlet on a stick or something like that. But if it's 6 p.m. and you're like, what do you want to do for dinner? Do not go to the joke ball cart. You can do better, man. There's lots of amazing food in South Korea. Hang on, you can only play one hand. Hello, Kate, by the way. I'm just going a little late, Kate, because I'm addicted to ballot show, but also I started a little late today. How do you know about choke ball? I lived in Korea! <laughs> I was in the pool! Hang on, I can only play one hand. In that case, we do this. What are your, some, some of your favorite Korean foods? Well, let me just say, especially in the past year, Kate and I have been eating a lot more Korean barbecue. And it's, it's not just a great food, but it's a wonderful restaurant experience. You feast. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. I'm always happy to be a part of it. I did see, and I don't want to throw my good friend under the bus here, but I did see Cobalt Streak say, is it considered not okay to bring your own gochujang to Korean barbecue? And uh, some people were in the comments like, what, they don't give you gochujang? Korean barbecue is not traditionally a gochujang added experience. I get that it's Korean food, so you think it's gotta have gochujang the same way everything Canadian has to have maple syrup. But Korean barbecue is samjang, and then maybe like some chamgi room with some salt in it, and then maybe one other sauce, probably like a like a ponzu inspired soy sauce type deal. It's you shouldn't be if you want to be traditional, you shouldn't be dipping the samgyeopsal in gochujang. The flavor of the gochujang is too strong. You can put the gochujang in your bibimbap. Okay, you can put the gochujang. You, you can put it on a lot of things, okay? You can, you can dip steamed broccoli into it. But Korean barbecue, traditionally, the gochujang is not what you're, you're doing there, okay? I'm not trying to cause problems. I'm simply, I'm stating my reality. Now, that being said, you, if you want to dip it, then fucking dip it, bro. Don't let me tell you. If you love the way it tastes, that's fine. I was just that the Food Network Andes that were in the comments that were like, they don't give you gochujang at the KBBQ restaurant. I'm like, yeah, because it's probably fucking owned by people who know what Korean barbecue is served with. Like, you don't even know what you're getting mad about, bro. I need a joker. You can bring your own Mama Liz's chili oil. Sure, I'm not gonna insult that. Okay, what, we, we played 10 high cards. I'd still like to get my interest popping before we start buying Celestial Packs. I understand we haven't really lived by that code up to this point, but so be it. I'm 
starting to get a little nervous about this, honestly. Anyway. <clears throat> Six, eight, nine, ten, jack. No, I don't think we will be doing that. We're Costco guys. Of course we don't play that. Canada has the coolest looking money on earth. Things that are damn true. I'll take things that are damn true for a thousand, Alex. Point the Karl Marx Euro. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, would we rather. I mean, you're like a times fucking one Andy, man. Maybe we don't want to play high card. Maybe we want to play high card a lot in order to get Ride the Bus popping, but we actually want to buy Saturn because we're playing straights most often. Whatever. You just got to get the anti eight. Play only one hand type this round. You motherfucker, you. <laughs> you motherfucker, you. Okay, okay, we have to get to a straight. No, we don't. Well. <laughs> it would be nice. Um, we could play just flushes. No, well, let me think about this. I'm going for four of a kind. We did not get there. I can live with that. I'm going to play three of a kind with a stone and throw the queen alongside it. And then I'm going to play three of a kind with these face cards alongside it. Then, I'm going to play this. We have one five left in the deck, huh? <laughs> All right. Right play, bad draws. It happens, it happens. Dump the face cards. Ch class, can we explain why we wouldn't dump the face cards when our high card was like a 10? I'll, let me skip to this because we're at the end of the stream. The face cards would have counted as our high cards and thus would have scored and would have ruined Ride the Bus. They wouldn't count? Why not? It was... A, oh, oh, you're right! Because it wouldn't count because it wouldn't be five cards. You genius. Or because it's not the same hand. That actually might... They, they should have a button, local thunk. If you want to ruin people's lives, there should be a button that's like, show me what I could have drawn in my next draw. And imagine if I press that button and there was a five there. Oh, man, it would have made all the difference. Like when you lose, you should be able to click on your deck and see the order of what you would have drawn. I don't know if that's discovered at runtime or if it's seated when the deck pops up at the start of the round, but imagine. Okay, Sunshmark, we'll call that Balatro. I think it's Balatro 3. 